number C, it says Lake Pavilion Black in any table number. You are heading to table 207 to get checked in. Third place. Just head to the cage and get signed up. One hand. One hand. Two cards. Two cards. A card weighs just, just 1.8 1. 1. 8 8 grams. grams. How much do two weigh? Two weigh. Three, Three point point two, two grams. grams. Check your math. Three point six grams. grams. That's better. better. Two, two cards. cards. Fifty two in a deck. A handful, a handful of, of chips. chips. Those chips are now dust. dust. A million, a million variables. variables. Two cards. Two cards. A, lifetime a lifetime of experience. Of experience. A, whole a whole bunch, bunch of, math. of math. Five, Five opponents. opponents. But only Three one that matters. matters. It's, you. it's you. Two, Two cards. cards. Two cards. One, one poker, poker destiny. 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 But for now, for now just, just two cards. Two cards. Yo, all I need is one mic, one beat, one page, and one pen, one prayer. Tell God, forgive me for one sin. Matter of fact, maybe more than one. Look back at all the hatred against me. Fuck all of them. Jesus died at age 33. That's 33 shots from twin glocks and 16 apiece. That's 32, which means one of my guns was holding 17. 27 hit your crew, six winners. The first time I played the Colossus, I fired six bullets. I, I entered every flight, I cashed once, and I busted the other five. I think in a lot of the flights, there were like 2,000, 2,500 people. People somewhere in that neighborhood and 100 to 150 of those people would make it to day two. You play ten-handed which is also a little unusual. Uh, there's 30 minute levels and you start with very very little chips. So action's going to be pretty fast. In the first few levels you're looking to find a spot to just double up. I think a lot of the recreational players have an advantage in an event like this at the beginning because they're having an opportunity at Playing for a WSP bracelet when $565 is the buy-in. It's not typical. So when they have this opportunity, they, they take it much more serious. They wait for good hands, try to get it in good, and you see a lot of the pros kind of like gambling. It's really hard to like bag chips on one bullet. The average amount of bullets like for a pro is gonna be like somewhere around five. But now you can play 12 times max if you'd like. In theory, if you're playing a tournament and you stand to be a winning player in that tournament, you should play it as many times as you think is still profitable. But at the same time, it's, it's also easy to get into a mindset where you look at the early stages of a tournament in too much of a gambling kind of a sense. You know? So you gotta strike a balance, I guess. So how many times have you bought into the Colossus? Uh, I only win in 11 times. So I, I snuck away not getting in for the max. That's tasteful. To get a lot of chips, you know, you have to take risks and it kind of results in, you know, boom or bust. And I did bust, 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 a lot more. It's of those. bust, 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 bust. That's how many times you busted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christian, why are you called Chin by people? It is the second syllable in my name. I thought your name was Chris Chin. No, it's just one flow, uh, Christian. So you're not Asian, I, huh, okay. You are a friend and partner of Matt Berkey. What is he like? Do you think that uh, Berkey would have lost on the hands that you lost on at the Colossus? Or do you think he would have found a way to persevere and? and rise above kind of like he's done for his entire career. <coughs> Except in that second super high roller bowl. He does the same thing every day. He does. Yeah. Jim. Jim. Then he makes food, potatoes and eggs. Potatoes and eggs. It's brain food. That explains so much. You have been described as Berkey's protege. That's what uh, they say. What kind of lottery did you win I mean, given the comments that I see on, uh, on YouTube, I feel like I got the short end of the stick there. What about Christian? What is, what's his deal? Man, nothing. 
Um, all right, so just to, to briefly wrap the meeting, is there anything that we haven't addressed on the newsletter that you need info for? I gave you dates for everything. Yeah. All right, so I'm playing Venetian, and I think... You wait, Regin? I mean, I don't know what time it is anymore, but yeah. I think Andy's kicking it at like two? Yeah. 220? Two, 2.20 is the end of the That's on board with the late reg. Yeah, man. What's no, Matt's on board with the max late reg. No, no, he was just <laughs> examining I, that. I was examining the possibilities of the max late reg. <laughs> what do you think about it? Because I'm, I'm interested. I think, that, I think that people don't talk about how much value there is when there's a ton of people who've already busted out of a tournament and you can get in. Yeah. So I'm curious on finding a way to do some math on that. That's, that's basically where I stand. Can I go fire a bullet and swap? What if I just like reg, but... <laughs> just max late but, but like leave. <laughs> just max late reg the bullet the bullet. Yeah. And I can't. I'm commentating the final table Thursday. Today from Las Vegas and the 49th annual World Series of Poker, Poker Go brings you a very distilled version of the game we love. If you're the type who lays in the weeds, waiting to pounce, picking your spots carefully to score the big pot here and there, this is not your game. The heads up championship is the game's wild west said to be poker's purest form. The format challenge you to dig deep, find the slimmest and sharpest of edges, and steal yourself to walk into that arena. One Karen along with Matt Berkey. We're in the saddle, ready to have some fun and ride this one out to the very end when we crown a bracelet winner tomorrow on Poker Go. Matt, aside from Justin Bonomo, none of the guys in our round of 16 have made it this deep in this heads up event. Yeah, I think it's one of those things where uh, heads up is... Last year I did a little bit of commentary with like Lon McCarron. I think I did some with Ali for the World Series main event. I like getting in the booth. I like discussing the game. I like talking about the parallels off of the actual gameplay and things like that. He needs to be able to win these pots in position. He needs to be able to uh, fire bluffs. But on a board texture like this, uh, I have a feeling this one's not gonna get through. King High is a relatively tough king. I am such a polarizing figure that I think um, the more I can actually kind of display my thoughts through conversation, the more reasonable I think I, I may become to those who are listening. Whereas if you just catch me from a Twitter quote or a joking vlog or whatever the case may be, uh, you may not get a perfect representation of like who I am, what I know, and what my knowledge of this game is. I mean, like, what do you? What, <coughs> what am I supposed to say? Is, is that my shirt? Here's what I've learned from following you for the last 32 years. 32 years? Yeah. I'm only 36. You're 36? Yeah. I thought you were much younger than that. Thank you. Um, that's why they call you Kid Poker, right? They don't call me Kid Poker. That's Daniel Negreanu. Can you spell that for me? N-E-G-R-E. Right, you know what, never mind. Um, <laughs> Niner. Actually, I met a kid the other day who was claiming to be in Saul for a while. He's like, God, he was, he was insufferable. Sure, Chin. Yeah, Chin. Yeah. yeah. What's his deal? Big fanboy. He was claiming that he's like your protege or whatever. Like, what the? <laughs> Yeah, no, he is. He's, uh, he's been a part of the crew for like four years now. Do you think he's earned that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's a hard study. Let me rephrase that. Do you think, he, don't you think he's the worst though? Like kinda? <laughs> this is just standard stuff, but I need you to sign this. This is a waiver, a filming waiver, just saying that it's okay that we filmed you. Sure. Um, so just uh, standard stuff, just right, like maybe to Travis, like, I don't know, best buds forever and go ahead and throw the date on there. This is another standard filming thing, but you just need to throw your John Hancock on that as well. Oh, sure. Can't deny it. Was a hoodoo charm called he loved me or die. Some fingernail, a piece of her dress, a pocket there, it never really 
I will relate the piteous consequence of my mistake. All enslaved to passing desire, making these dreaded love me or die. All right. Day two of the 1506 Max. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, six handed tournament, one of the only ones we're going to play this summer. And uh, it's day two, so it's always fun to wake up to a day two. Primeval green. She had the looks of a beauty queen. So, day two, we all made it. That's a rare thing. So, uh, I come in with 60 blinds. Jordan's coming in with like 40 ish blinds. And Berkey's coming in short. So I think he's coming in with like 11 blinds and we're approaching the bubble rather quickly. We're 14 off the money. So things are going to heat up pretty fast. The turn will come the a six, uh, giving us a bottom boat. Obviously a very favorite turn now. 